Hi, this is Black Cat Demon, and I want to do a quick review on the Legacy Megazord. And the thing I, I see a lot of is the pros of this. Well, there are some goods about it. I mean, yes, it has some metal pieces, but, like, there's no wheels on the Triceratops. They're just stationary plastic. The cannons, they're solid. They're solid plastic. There is no, no getting around that. I mean, this is the original. The original cannons move, goes up and down, easy. The all metal one, I mean, I could even, like, tilt this to display it if I wanted to have it, like, really up to where it looked like I was shooting something. The most I do is I get my finger pinched on this. Um, the Sabertooth Tiger, the wheels do move, well, sh the wheels don't move, honestly. But they're stationary plastic again. It's just display. If you was to hook this up to tank mode, hook it up to Titanus back there, you could just drag it. It's gonna scrape the paint. And for being 50 bucks and no wheels moving, that's kind of sad. The original, yeah, this thing's over 20 years old. But at least when they built this, they thought about you know having tires that move and everything like the show could do. So basically, the Legacy is more of a display piece. It's not, you know, going to be a toy that you're going to give your kid and they're going to play with. This is just going to be either put in Mega Zord, put in Tank Mode, or put in Individual Zords. Um, the thing that kind of kind of a downer is here's the original Triceratops. As you can see, normal legs. Here's the Legacy. You got these little pegs that. Again, they they connect into Sabertooth and Triceratops, so voila, there you go. I mean, the feet do move, but as far as movement goes, that's it. Legs going forward, that's it. Forward, backwards, no bending, no nothing. The original, I mean, we got quite a bit of movement out of this, pivoting and everything else. Um... The tail does not bend. It's solid metal, but it does not bend. Um, the stickers, they're kind of easy to put on the, the, the Triceratops. But the one thing that's kind of annoying is when you're picking the little the head, putting it back up and down and everything, it kind of gets stuck in here because there's a little itty bitty teeny weeny tab that for some reason the nose gets kind of hung up. So when you're trying to pull it out, it gets hung up quite a bit. That's kind of a, kind of a little annoyance. Um, was the tail not folding down like the original? It's kind of an oddity. Um, here's the original uh, pterodactyl, and here's the new one. The original has stickers. The new one does not. Uh, mastodons. They they're a little bit different as far as how they come apart. As far as looks go, one has little shinier stickers. Uh, one thing I did find kind of annoying, let me take the head off here and I'll, I'll show it, um, is when you put the stickers on, they only go on one side. There is not another sticker for the other side. Another thing is, when you are displaying this, one foot is hollow, which again, so you have the hollow side with a solid arm. You have a solid foot with a, with a hollow area. So when you want this in the tank mode, and you want to show this thing off and everything else, you're going to be put positioning it like that. That's not right. I mean, for what we have to pay for these, we should get solid feet, solid metal. You know, I mean, that's just kind of, that's sad. When I bought the Legacy Megazord, and from the way I heard about it, I was expecting this great big metal robot. I was expecting like what what we had back when I was a kid, which was the all metal Voltron, and that was that was awesome. I mean, it was all metal lions. It was great. I mean, you look it up on eBay, you're gonna find it going for between three four hundred dollars. They're not cheap, and they're pretty cool. I was expecting the Megazord to be like uh, the metal. Uh, uh, Choky King or whatever I, I don't know how to pronounce it but basically I was expecting this I mean I wasn't expecting it to be you know this guy's not going to be torn apart 
But this guy is 50 bucks. The thing I like about him is we can move his cannons. We can move his arms. We can, you know, we can pivot him. You know, I mean, this guy can bend. He can dance. His ankles move. This is what I was expecting when they were talking Legacy Megazord. I was expecting this guy 10, you know, 10 times bigger. The detail, I mean, this guy is no stickers. There's no stickers on this. This is all painted. That is what makes this guy awesome. So when they come out with Legacy, I was expecting Legacy to be like him. They have the flaps that open and close. They have the legs to move up and down and be able to position them. And again, Legacy is just, it's great, but it could have been better. I mean, for what we have to pay for, it could have been better. And I mean, I don't like the nag. I don't like the rip. I mean, one thing I found is on the Legacy Megazord... Like, if, if I want to put the original, the, the sword in the hand, it's tight. It's it's so tight, I would actually be scraping the paint off this sword. I mean, this don't fit. I mean, if I squeeze this in, I pu push it in real good, it's not going to fit. And that's, again, that's a, a flaw. I mean, it does fit, but you have to jam it. And I'm not going to break a sword or tear up a sword because I you know, can't get to fit in the little itty bitty hole. Again, when they when they made this, they should have thought of, you know, the consumer, how we're going to display them and everything. I mean, honestly, I don't want to display a toy in a box. I want to display a toy, and I like to show off what I have. And it just comes down to the little things, the little details. I mean, as, as the consumer... You know, I don't like the nag, but I just want to know, let people know there are a lot of cons with the, the Legacy. I mean, you're going to buy it, you're going to have to put the stickers on it. It's, the stickers are a pain in the ass. And like I said, was was I'm missing stickers here and there and everything. It, for what you pay, it feels kind of like you get let down, ripped off, that sort of thing. I mean, again, a lot of people are telling me that this thing is really cool. I don't have the two, uh, 2010 one, so I can't compare this to that. I had the deluxe one. I had the original one. That's why I have it to compare it to. And what I'm seeing from the original, it's it's a letdown. But, you know, I'm happy I got it, but at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed in it. I was expecting more. I mean, when you, when you, you know, put a deal out saying that, you know, you're coming out with a metal Megazord. Metal. All these damn things should be all metal, not a bit of plastic. You put, you keep plastic on your toys, it, it looks cheap. It looks, you know, it's sad. And, you know, as a consumer, I felt like to a degree I blew 50 bucks. Honestly. You know, but at the same time, I mean, I'm happy I got it. I do display it. Um... If they come out with another legacy one, I I kind of want to hold off and see how that would go. Because I'm hoping if they do a Dragon Sword, it's not going to be a letdown. It's going to be awesome. But something tells me it could be mostly plastic. I don't know if they'll even put the electronics out like what they did the original. It's, you know, as a consumer, you know, it's, it's one of those things like you want something that you're proud of but at the same time you know you want something that's going to be displayed you can show it off to everyone and I mean I I like showing it off but at the same time part of me just sits there and goes like eh you know like this could be so much better I mean the original one that one has more the off factor and everything compared to this new one I mean, honestly, if you're going to spend the money, if you're going to spend 50 bucks, honestly, just go with the original, the, the deluxe. I mean, you can have more entertainment out of it. It's bigger. It's better. And you you get more out of it. I mean, the, the new one, yeah, the stickers are shiny. Yes, it's beautiful to a degree. But it's kind of a letdown. It's one of those things like you just look at it and you go, you know, Great, I got the legacy, but at the same time, parties and they're going, damn, I blew that much money on something that 
you know, I mean, if if you're going to spend the money, if you're going to spend 50 bucks, honestly, go with the Legacy Morpher. I mean, it's actually a hell of a lot better, and you get more entertainment out of that than you would this. <sighs> yeah, like I said, it's it's great, but it's not so great. So there's there's my review, and I'm sorry if I seem like a Debbie Downer or something, but you know it it it's great, but it's not the best. It could have been a hundred times better. And you know that's that's the sad thing is when people are out there, they're making money, they're making up the hype. And we're not getting what we should, you know, but that's how life goes.